Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to the Centurions Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. This is Deep Wars, and the manufacturer is Antimatter Games. This is actually the only product I've ever seen from this company. I got this at a convention. I had bought some deep sea divers, some, I don't know, they're 25 millimeter, 28, 30 millimeter, something like that. And uh, I just happened to see this rule set and it was on sale for 12 bucks. So I was like, I'll get it. I don't know if I'm ever going to play these rules as is. I might just use it for ideas. I like to write my own rules for miniature games, but this is just a flip through. Let's take a look through this and see what's in here. Deep Wars is a tabletop war game where forces battle below the waves of a lost underground ocean beneath a frozen southern continent, vying for control over ancient sunken ruins and wrecks holding powerful artifacts and golden treasure. Players command war bands from one of four main forces, developing their warriors as they gain experience through combat, exploration, and recovery of treasure. Deep Wars is a continuation of the adventures from the Shadow Sea game, taking place in the same time period and involving many of the same forces, but introduces new rules for combat beneath the sea, battles aboard breach submersibles, new magic, and ether technology. All right, and here it's giving some background on probably the world, I would assume. Looks like some of these, these are some of the fac factions, like Fortune Hunters, Dark Mariners, Ancients of Adelon, and Scaly Horde. All right, and here's where the actual rules start. Looks like a model has uh, p the cost points, quality, combat, weapons, armor, special abilities, and special items. And there's looks like there's cards for this, too. Yeah, here's an example card, and here's going over the war bands. And here's activation rolls and activities you can do, such as move... Once, move twice, move three times, etc. Attack and so forth. And here's your movement rules, including changing depth since it's underwater. Um, it, uh, it's not just uh, walking on the ground. Uh, it's more of a three-dimensional movement, I would assume. And here's field of view. And here's examples of physical activities. And here's combat. There's hand-to-hand -hand combat. There's the modifiers. I'm going to assume there's probably range combat in this too. Yeah, right here's the range combat modifiers. Looks like you can target subsystems too against or, or specific body parts. And here's morale rules. And here it's going into the different weapons. It's like one is a harpoon. Got powered armor too, pressurized armor. There's a spear gun. And here's a weapon summary table. And your armor summary. And here's uh, Dark Mariner weapons and armor. Oh, it's even got explosives in it. Ancient of Atlas uh, weapons and armor. Scaly Horde weapons and Scaly Horde armor. And here's your special abilities and powers. Quite a few of them. Uh, you even got an engineer underwater. Interesting. Healers, heroes, scientists, sea shaman, and there's undead underwater too. Wonder if they fall apart in the water. All right, and here's the magic rules and magic spells and so forth. Looks like you got elemental magic, 
psychic magic, dimensional magic, and protection magic. And the sections on technology. Quite a bit going on in this game, huh? And here's how to run campaigns. Looks like you can roll to get a scenario. Uh, one is skirmish, next is ambush, breach, salvage, survival, and capture. So six different types of scenarios. Looks like you get experience points in this too when you survive. And here's an artifact table and an upgrade table. Alright, now it's getting into wild sea creatures. And it's going into the deep sea environment, the different marine zones. Uh, you got the shallow shelf, coral reefs, kelp forests, uh, all sorts of stuff. And there's deadly terrain too. In the abyssal zone. And an outpost, deep sea outpost that is. And here's rules about attacking submersibles. That's cool. And amphibious warfare, as I would have guessed. And here's the different forces. Fortune hunters. Some of these look really cool. Because these, this is some cool stuff. And here's the dark mariners. Even got a Nautilus. Ancients of Adelon. And the Scaly Horde. And here's the stats for uh, different creatures. Great Point Sharks, Leviathan Sharks, all sorts of stuff, Crocodiles, Squids, Dragonfish, yeah, this is cool stuff. And you can make custom models too. And here's more of the charts. And you use these to measure. And this shows your spray zone and this is your blast template, so you can photocopy these and uh, uh, print them out and cut them out and put them on cardboard. And here's your warband record sheet. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Just want to show you guys this because this is a pretty uncommon game. Have a good evening.